This work is um, kind of about perception. I would say um, there are a couple of themes that, I, that are reoccurring in my work. Um, one is it's figurative, primarily figurative with landscape and um, an interior. Um, I'm very attracted to those three elements. We're here at the Bloomington Center for the Arts at the Artistry Gallery um, where my show called The Perturbable Stillness is being displayed. Perturbable meaning like disquiet or unsettling. So it's sort of an unsettling stillness. One element or symbol would be um, the child and oftentimes I'll put a child juxtaposed to some kind of danger but I also use the child as as a um, way to talk about perception. You know, I, I, I would ask that people would actually try to go walk into one of my paintings. You know, like the, there's one, the girl with the orange dress, for instance, you know, you could go inside, go around the corner, you could see if there's a key, you know, maybe unlock her chain, see her get on a broom and go out the window and glass is shattered and that already creates another whole new painting. I have houses that are either in a big landscape, very remote, alone, either um, abandoned or far away. Uh, that probably comes from my living in many, many different houses throughout my life. I've lived all over and um, always in this pursuit of home because that's unrequited nostalgia for home that's never met. Um, although as I've gotten older, you know, my, my view of home is actually sort of become more like home is within. Kind of like there's, there's the divinity within each one of us and that we're a community of home. And I think we've lost touch with, um, you know, nature, the source the life, life force in nature, life force in each other, in rocks, in everything, and we're always searching for that connection, which I think is home, really. The stillness of a painting is, it's kind of like a tableau within a, a, a theater, you know? It's, it's set and it's still, and there is no label. I don't even like to give a, I don't even like to title my paintings, actually, even though I'm sitting here talking about them. But I like, you know, a painting does not become alive until it is viewed by a person. It's just not, it hasn't come to its fullness until it starts being seen. And um, so that idea of, you know, labeling or giving a name to the painting kind of takes away the ambiguity and shuts the door on that interpretation of the viewer. So I'm really interested in what other people are gleaning from the painting or what they're projecting onto the paintings. That goes back to stillness, which goes back to my idea that I think that, um, I mean, it all gets really mystical, actually, but that love is actually emptiness and stillness because there's no naming, there's no judging, there's no label. Um, and that's kind of sort of the childlike nature, maybe, that I'm going back over to.